Throughout history, adults have been using stories about frightening mythical creatures to coax children into behaving well. Every culture has their own version of the boogeyman, a hideous monster that punishes kids for misbehavior, such as the Slavic Babai, the Italian Lomo Nero, the Japanese Namahage, the Caribbean Jambi, and of course the Latin American El Coco. But in most regions, folklore, these characters are described as dark spirits with sharp teeth and ugly features. The Hungarians went into a different direction with their boogeyman's appearance. You see, Hungarians scare their children with a peculiar bird that has some unique and bizarre features, and that creature is called the copper dick owl. everyone and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, I'm Anna and I make videos about the culture, history, literature and gaming related topics of Central and Eastern Europe because I feel like there's not enough content about it online. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing. Most of you probably already know that I'm a mixed ethnic Hungarian from Romania and since some of you have pointed out that I don't talk about my Hungarian side enough, I've decided to focus today's video on Hungarian folklore and tell you about its strangest creature called the Res Vosubagoi which literally translates as copper dick owl. But before we do that, I'm gonna give you a few random facts about the Hungarians, aka Magyars, whose origins are still heavily debated by historians, archaeologists and ethnographers, because the historical records related to our origins have more plot holes than the Harry Potter series. But the most agreed upon theory is that the Hungarians are an Ugric ethnic group who originate from the Euro region, which mostly lies within current-day Russia and we migrated to the Panama Basin sometime in the 9th century. Which is why some people consider Hungarians to be more Asian than European, and that is why memes like this exist. The Hungarian language is pure torture to the point that even some native speakers struggle with it, and various Hungarian subgroups have their own variations of it, out of which the CK one is the funniest one. <laughs> Also, due to events I shall not mention because it rises off my comment section, today over 2 million Hungarians live in the neighboring countries, 1.2 million of them being in Transylvania. So without further ado, let's dissect this topic. It is no secret that the Hungarian folk culture is quite weird. <laughs> Felséges király atyám, azt az Isten teremtette rám, de a mellemet én neveltem. Ezt én szégyellem, ezért gyugtam ezt el. Yes, that was a scene from an actual folktale. With that said, having a creature named Copper Dick Owl, or as one might say it in Latin, Cuprum Fascinum Noctua, shouldn't come as a surprise. This mythical fellow is more commonly found in Transylvanian Hungarian culture, enjoying a higher popularity in two specific regions, Székelyland and Kalotaszeg, which ironically are the home of the two most iconic corners of Hungarian culture, despite laying outside of the borders of Hungary. Székelyland is a region in eastern Transylvania, which is mostly populated by a Hungarian-speaking ethnic group called Sacklers, who are usually stereotyped as emotionless alcoholics, who always carry knives, talk funny, and are absolutely terrified of the Romanian language. In this region, the race was Subagoi is used in the phrase Alkop Aris Subagoi, meaning that the copper owl will catch you. Or they also say that Megfog és Megresel Aris Subagoi, which translates as the copper owl will take you and grate you. But in Kalotaszeg, there's a different kind of saying. You see, this place is a mixed ethnic region that became famous for its colorful traditional clothing, extremely high rates of depression and alcoholism, and of course the outstanding dance moves. <laughs> Here 
people claim that the copper dick owl also fuku, which means it whistles. But the most common form of the term I heard here is Vitwana eloris subagoi, which means that you should have been taken by the copper dick owl. But what does that even mean? Luckily for us, every tiny piece of Hungarian culture is researched and overanalyzed in hopes of finding out more about our pre-Christian past. But when they looked into this one, they found something nobody expected. And believe it or not, it has quite dark origin. The Hungarian name of this creature is Rez Vasubagoi, in which Rez means copper, Vas references the male reproductive organ, and the U at the end is a possessive suffix. The second word, Bagoi, simply translates as owl. So yeah, it's literally copper owl or the owl with the copper Now to understand the meaning of this term, we must take a look at the subject first, the owl himself. Animal tales are a huge part of Hungarian folklore and fairy tales, in which each animal is a symbol for a human trait or profession. In many tales, owls were used as a metaphor for doctors, often portrayed with glasses, like the Hungarian children's cartoon called Dr. Bubo. With that said, it is pretty clear that the copper dick owl references some sort of male doctor. But why does it have a copper dick and why does he want to grate you? Well, according to ethnographers, the owl's distinct organ is a reference to a specific copper tool which was used to end unwanted pregnancies. In short, the copper dick owl is a metaphor for a doctor who performs abortions. Since the topic of terminating pregnancies was always a controversial one and abortions were illegal in the past, people couldn't speak about this openly, so they needed a codename for it. Which clarifies what some of the related sayings mean. For example, grating refers to that specific procedure. Also, saying stuff like don't do that or the copper cow will grate you was probably originally used to discourage young girls from doing the mattress dance, if you know what I mean. And eventually it ended up being used in different contexts as well. With that said, telling someone that they should have been taken by the copper owl is a prime insult because you're basically saying that they should have been aborted. Of course this creature has a female equivalent as well, but however much I like it, sadly it's not named the copper owl. The female boogeyman of Hungarian folk culture is called Vasoru Baba, aka the hag with an iron nose, who is often associated with the Slavic Baba Yaga or the Romanian Baba Koja, but the stories about her are a little bit different from the rest. The Vasoru Baba kidnaps children, has a tough field with the souls of unborn kids, packs people with her iron beak and boils water to cook her victims in it. All of these actions seem to draw parallels to various forms of pregnancy termination. Also, back in the days every village had a Baba or Baba a woman whose role was to assist birds and help with women's health issues. So basically, she was an old timey version of a gynecologist. And her job included secretly terminating unwanted pregnancies as well. So, no worries, the weird iron nose hag your grandmother tried to freak you out with kinda lost interest in you right after your birth. Knowing the meaning behind the birdie, I also have a theory why it became more popular in Transylvania than other regions populated by Hungarians. Like everything else related to Central and Eastern European culture, this phenomenon can be tied to the communist era as well. After the Second World War, when Transylvania became part of the Kingdom of Romania again, the land was turned into a one-party communist state controlled by many weird laws which violated basic human rights. One of those laws was the complete ban on every form of contraception and abortion in order to increase the population with some nationalistic and political intentions. But keep in mind that during that era the salaries were super low, the poverty rate was super high and people had limited resources for raising children, therefore they couldn't really afford to keep all the babies they ended up accidentally making. People who got into those situations usually had two options. A. Leave the kid in an underfunded state orphanage where they treat children like animals, abuse them and don't even have enough money to provide them with proper food, beds and clothes. Or B terminate the pregnancy. Although the procedure was illegal at that time, many doctors agreed to perform it illegally anyway to get some more money on the side, but they couldn't do it in a safe medical environment for obvious reasons, so they usually did it at the home of the patient, which sadly often had a fatal outcome. And that's what happens when you put politics and nationalism into the doctor's office. Since today the procedure is legal, the term is mostly used as some sort of boogeyman, which quickly grew its way into meme culture in the early days of the internet. No, I got you. Előle múlt sem menekülhetsz. Mindjárt elkap a rész, szubagó. A 
Every culture has a few weird elements, often having dark, controversial or even tragic roots. But these elements are what keep certain parts of our history alive, including topics which are usually heavily censored. Although the bizarre nature of these elements sometimes come off as quirky and hilarious, they are still highly valuable. Because throughout the past century, the copper owl has become a significant piece of Transylvanian Hungarian culture, and thanks to it, we get to remember a forgotten, dark aspect of our past. But enough about that, what weird elements exist in your culture? Tell me in the comments below. If you are interested in more topics related to Transylvanian culture and history, check out my history video about Kruznapoka or my Resident Evil Cultural Analysis series. Also, if you want to see the bizarre side of Romanian culture as well, you can check out my Strange Romanian Traditions video as well. Subscribe or the copper owl will greet you. Thanks for tuning in and have a nice day. Happy